Bada bing. Hey! hey. Bada boom. Well, I thought it would be easier to walk straight into the shot nice. as opposed to, you know, one and then. Yeah. Yeah. I actually wanted to do this. And be like, and be like, whoa! <laughs> but I thought, nah, that's. What do we have here today, bro? That's lame. Oh, okay, so we've got our um, mates. Mm. So, uh, yeah. welcome to Mate Talk, everybody. Um, my good friend, Kevin. Um, and I wanted to uh, cover off today, actually, I invited Kevin to, um, to be with us. To be with me, sorry. I invited Kevin to be with me to talk about new fragrances that we discovered yeah. while we were doing it was, our... It was, it's, the, it's the first big actual catch-up we've had since we got it's back. It's been crazy. Because we got back at two different times from this Europe. Guy, this yeah. guy stayed on. Can we make the announcement? Yeah, please, okay. Please, all right, please, all right. please. So we, we, we wrapped up our France fragrance tour with our guests. Then, actually, you and I went to Cannes. Yep. We had a couple of meetings with some of the brands. Working, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then, did you go home after? Uh, Paris one or two days and then yep. boom. And then you went home. Mm. I took the lovely Emily, uh, my partner, to Italy. We had a couple of days traveling in a little car on the boots of Italy. And on the last day, I did the, uh, <laughs> as my dad likes to say, the, will you marry me? Because <laughs> I got nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> so I proposed to the missus. The wedding's on. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a big year, big next year. The amount of pressure I would put on this guy. I'm yeah. like, when are you gonna marry this this young yeah. lady? I mean, yeah. I would look at Emily. I'm like, I would go. I would. I yeah. would find somebody. Yeah. This yeah. guy here is dragging his feet. But, <laughs> but you did it. You did it. You did it. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Well, she uh, she was our unofficial official French translator for the tour. Well, for me, she was official. She, she, she was official. <laughs> she yeah. was official. I yeah. mean, uh, Emily was yeah. was also like, they'll start talking to me in French and I'll be like, Emily? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I need help here. The I, don't drivers, know, I don't know what. The taxis that were yeah. ordering and stuff. Yeah. So it was really good to have her. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. So yeah, this man's getting married. Have you put a date or not yet? No, no, no. no, no. When did the children come? Because here, the, here, I think the culture is you have your engagement party. Yeah. Right? And then you do, so in our culture, we have one extra thing. It's called a tea ceremony. You dress up in your traditional like long dress so cool. with the patterns. Awesome, and what we do is the young'uns, so me and her, we need to like offer tea to our parents. That's so cool. And then they give you a blessing. The blessing comes with a red pocket, which is, if some of you don't know what that is, in there is some lucky money. <laughs> the moment, the moment that I heard blessing, it's more than just, <laughs> you will be good. Thanks, Dad. But yeah. also, <laughs> the blessing is, you know, the... What are you talking about? And it's the two hands, isn't it? It's always, yeah, a, yeah, 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 out of pure respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still remember <laughs> this guy, he, he, um, when you did the Christmas, he gave me the... the uh, uh, what's it? Uh, baskets of uh, fruits and, and, and some of that stuff. And I, Do you I remember always... how you did it? No, I don't. <laughs> you, you said to me, because normally, you know, for Christmas, you give each other gifts. And you're like, oh, here you go, mate. This is for you, blah, blah, yeah. blah. This guy gives me this basket. It was just like this glorious basket of fruit. And you literally did this with two hands. You're like, this is for you. You look uh, down and I'm like, mate. <laughs> thank you. What, what are we doing? So I'm like, thank you. You know, thank you. <laughs> My family will be honored forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, yeah, anyway, exciting. I'm happy for you. Thanks, brother. Yeah, yeah. Thank so. you. Actually, I need to invite you over for dinner. Oh, yeah. We need to do that. We're going to do something. We're going to yeah, do something. We need to do All right. So today... What we want to do is, there's a number of brands that uh, we discovered separately together yeah. when we did that, that, the, the, um, the tour through France. Yeah. Um, there's a mixture here of stuff that we actually encountered whilst on the tour um, that we did with some of the brands that we partnered up with. And, but I also want to talk about some other stuff that I found. Yeah. That some I, things that we found just being in the proximity of Paris. Correct. That we wouldn't have found. Correct. In well, here in Australia. Well, there, these some of these are not in Australia. Yeah. So un unless I order online, but I don't blind, I don't blind buy anything. I got to test, I got to try, yeah. I got to put on skin, yeah. and so all these things are yeah stuff that I. Can I start with the first one? Yes, boss. Right. So the first fragrance is speaking of testing. Mm. There's a bottle that I've had my eye on, probably for about maybe close to two years. Right. And we don't have it here in Melbourne where we are, and it's a perfume by Roja. Roger Dove, <coughs> and because the price point of this is so expensive, right. I've never thought about blind buying it at all. Right. So I brought a little sample because we went to Javois. Mm. Javois is Javois, as we got corrected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Javois, Paris, one of the boutiques of France that everyone goes to. Um, they're really cool because the staff. I actually saw the staff 
they allow you to get samples right. from the shop. Right. And not every shop does that. And their catalog is so big, mm. they were gracious enough to even give me samples of the two, three thousand dollar Roger bottles, which I didn't think that I wouldn't have thought they, they would. would do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So this is called Amber Oud. Oof, that's a good one. I think that's maybe like two thousand dollars or something. Mm. I've don't put it on the card. Oh, okay, we got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> don't, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put it on the card. Um, uh, so I've, I've smelled. You this. You no, no, you go, you go, you go. Okay, okay. Um, I've smelled this before. in his higher end collection is the dry down, he always goes into something a little bit more artsy, a little more different. Right. So this is like civet dry down, the right. oud dry down. Right. It's anamalic. Some people want to rub it off because mm. it gets a bit much. Right. But for people like us, I just found it Bring so it. different. Yeah, can I smell that, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not getting... It's, it, I would say that civet and some of that mm, castorum and stuff doesn't it's, come out for hours. Right. So you get a really beautiful wear. Because it's beautiful now. Yeah. It's like, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's just really smooth yeah. and Agreed. almost velvet-like. Yeah. I mean, think of like beautiful velvet where you just sort of, your hands are rubbing. Yeah, yeah that's... And then it pulls you down shimmer. to the depths of hell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which I like. Actually, I'm curious. It's I wanna, different. Okay, can I, I, let me try it now. Hell yeah. Because yeah. I thought I... Because yeah. I've, I've worn this before. And I'm yeah. sure of it. I'm sure of it. Um, the start is almost like... Uh, to my nose, it comes off like a soft citrus because there's a sparkling top. See, I'm getting a little bit of a rose or yeah. some sort of floral. Yeah. 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 I'm not getting but if, any of that sass. If anyone has worn mm. this fragrance, mm. I would love to see their what's own. Your, yeah. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a mixed. Sometimes I find that uh, that uh, the ouds and ouds, as Raja calls them, yeah. um, can be. A little bit more that they sort of tend to be quite strong and amalic and yeah. almost Arabian in their yeah. construct whereas this is not yeah. well at the moment this is not that he's said to be the very first perfumer because yeah. he went to uh, somewhere in the Middle, in the East, Middle East to train for like three or four years that's right to bring it more into the Western correct market yeah correct. so I've got to pay respect to that yeah actually I think I mentioned the on a previous Mate talk that I went through Dubai yeah. on the trip to, to France and the mo and this is no exaggeration hand on my heart it, Sandra is my witness that as I'm going through the airport I'm smelling oud mm. and I'm smelling the beautiful oud just super classy the people in front of me so they looked I'm going to say that they were locals um, because of the way they were dressed and you know yeah. in that, that the full whole white yeah. that, that yeah. I don't know what it's called yeah. anyway that, that full gear yeah. um, but they smell beautiful yeah. they smell the, yeah. the the sillage that they were producing yeah. and it was wasn't one it was multiple yeah. people even the, even like going through the security thing yeah. the the people at the security thing also smell good so being at the the shop i have some customers that come in and you just get that they just fill the whole store mm. with all of that and they they tell me that they get the bahur and they oh, they right. actually light it putting it in the wardrobe right on the floor yeah right and they just smoke Premiate up the, the, the their clothing. clothes. Mm. I, was, I just thought that's so it's cool. A cool. Yeah, it's a cool. Because there's no really... one, one day, you know what we need to do? We're going to do a fragrance tour in the Middle East. Yeah, I'm calling it in the Middle East. We're going to go to Dubai, and we'll go. And, we, and I want to experience that. Me too. <laughs> me too. I want to experience that that very thing. But I'll, I'll let one if they let me. Yeah. I think you're. I don't I, think. I don't think it's a religious. You're allowed thing. for yeah. for for men. You're. I, I believe that you're allowed to. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen a lot of boxes I, and people that are sports it. athletes that wear. It. All right, so that's the first one. Well, yeah. We've got a lot of paper. This yeah, is like yeah, yeah. a seven hour mate talk. We're, uh... What's your one? All right, okay, so let me move into Bop Bada Beam. Um, I've been talking a lot about, so I'm gonna do two. Um, so this was not part of the tour. So this is Floraiku. And I've been banging on about this for the last, since I've been back, carrying on about these fragrances. So I've got one for me, which is between two trees. And I've been talking about how just totally awesome this fragrance is. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the way that they like to do is they have three key sort of hero notes. There's obviously other notes that are in there. In this case here, it starts off with a very sour grapefruit, almost bitter in its scent profile. Mm. Then it goes to a mate, 
So you're getting the very green muck. Yeah. This is what drew me. I mean, when the salesperson was talking about it, this is what instantly sort of drew my attention. Uh, has a very green herbal mate in it, and then it dries down into a very uh, uh, earthy vetiver. But anyway, it's aromatic. It is, it's gorgeous. And now the best part about it is that Sandra loves this on me. So she instantly detects, yeah. and she's constantly like, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh. She, she this is, so I'm getting a lot of oohs and You ahs. can pick up the mate, like, like, like the leaves or? Well, see the thing, the truth is, yeah. Uh, the truth is, do you want it on skin or do you want it on... Let me just see what it comes off like first. But I'm curious. Because you don't come... Ever since being your bro now and, and drinking all this stuff, yeah, yeah. I've started to notice more when perfumes list mate, mate in it. Right. It's not very often though. No. It's very hard to find. See, so the mate that I've got, actually, yeah, it, it, yeah. this one's very smoky. The, this, this version of the mate. Yeah. Actually, I'll put it here. This is the new one that I'm, that I'm drinking. Yeah. I enjoy this one here. Yeah. Uh, this is more Argentinian style, so it's a lot... Bigger the leaves. That is beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's almost like a fizzy greenness. Right. It's very fresh, very aromatic. Yeah, it's gorgeous, man. Yeah. I'm just on card yeah. and like. <laughs> now that we're in spring summer. Yeah. This is going. This to be is why I bought it. For me, this is uh, so for the more lighter weather yeah. in uh, summertime. This is going to be glorious. I've been wearing it. It's like there's been a few days yeah. that it's been beautiful here, and it's just been. Popular. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me jump into another one. So yeah. that's. To say it's a boy fragrance is wrong. So if you like your woody aromatics and things of that nature, but done with a twist, then between two trees is awesome. Now more on the floral side, and this is the one that Sandra got. I smell this. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Okay. Other than what's it called? Oh, this is um, uh, and your lips. Oh, boom. Sounds sensual. Forget about it. Smell that. Okay. And again, while Kevin's smelling that, look at these beautiful bottles. I mean, look how, so this is a, see, I'm smelling that. That's Sandra for me now. Wow. That's yeah, become yeah. Sandra. I smell. Incredible. It's a very sensual floral. Some yellow florals come in, some white florals jump in and out. Wow. That's beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. You know, the funny thing is, Sandra doesn't like vanilla in her fragrance. Ah, but you kind of pick up. Vanilla's in the base. Creaminess. Yeah. There's vanilla in a wow. little bit and amber in the base. Yeah. This is gorgeous. I mean, and I'm smelted in the air. Mm. Um, whenever Sandra's wearing this, I'm just instantly drawn. I mean, I, mean, I can just detect it. And it's almost to the point, you know, sometimes um, when you smell something, you get a visual. Yeah. All right, I'm smelling, and this is only a new fragrance, okay? I'm smelling this, and it's Sandra. And Sandra, Beautiful. Paris, Sandra Sunshine, Sandra, just, just Sandra. This has just Ooh. become <laughs> cute. Gorgeous fragrance. So, ladies, or, or those who like more florals in their fragrances. There is vanilla, but it's not detectable. It's, I think, if anything, the vanilla is there, as Kevin pointed out, is more for that creamy, sort of Moorish component, yeah. so that, that sensuality. Because I vanilla can do that. Vanilla blends so well with white flowers. Right. It gives you just more of a feminine, mm. beautiful, you just picture like a woman in a white dress. Right. Elegant, right. very beautiful. I can't wear this. I'll give you a heads up. So this one is more because again, I think I've now associated it to Sandra. Whereas between two trees, yeah. I'll go one more. So I have a very close friend, Max. Yeah. All right, Max. See. So I had a sample. So I had two of those. I gave one away in the raffle. I had another one, and Max is my homie. So I uh, gave him another 10 mil sample. Sorry, brother. Oh, instead of me. <laughs> As I'm saying that, I'm like, ah, <laughs> I just, yeah. I'll get you one too, man. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I gave him and he sent me a message the next day yeah. going, because he's, he's off overseas. He's ah. like, I'm hunting this baby down. Yeah. So between two trees, if you like, yeah. aromatic. I know Floric, I'll, I'll has, get your sample. they've been out for a little while, but I found in the last 12 months, the mm. last year and a bit, mm. they've just been popping up mm. everywhere because the bottles are so iconic. You can mm. recognize it straight away. Right. So when people do those like my top five, top six, and right. they hold the bottles, and this is, you always recognize that. Right. Yeah. Really good, really, really, really good product. Yeah. I'm super impressed. Awesome. Okay. My next one, Boom. bit of a fun one. I thought, um, I actually want to do a quick live unwrapping, unboxing. <laughs> this is by Reinvented that I noticed you've been talking about a I little have. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I discovered these guys, actually, while you do that, yeah. oh, can I commentate? Or? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't ever make... find the sexiness in unwrapping cellophane out of off the box. It's sexier when it's dead quiet and it's just a close-up of the... 
it's no, no, but it has to be like a close up of the thing. All right, well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna... But the reason why I actually chose this is because, as you guys can see, I haven't even worn it yet. Um, I got a test of it when we we're over in Europe, yeah. when we met some of the brands right after our fragrance tour concluded. Um, and you know what? I thought I was going to be the only one that had to buy an extra luggage to fit in how much perfumes that we bought back. But we got a, we, we, we actually have a group chat. A group chat with some of our fragrance tour guests. Um, and Greg, I, I think Greg's cool with us. Can I this? Greg, I'm about to show all these photos. Am I, am I allowed to do this? Some of them, some of them, some of them. Actually, yeah. you know what? I'm going to ask. We'll ask. I'm, I'm, so we, we're shooting this. I'm going to send him a message. If you don't see the photos, it's because Greg's like, no, brother, you can't. Yeah, yeah. But, if he's, but if you're seeing these photos right now, yeah. it's because Greg is giving us permission. Yeah. Um, but have a look at all of these. So during the, the France perfume tour that we did, uh, we we created a, a group chat with, with WhatsApp, and we're still pinging each other, which is really cute. Yeah. I, I, actually, it's awesome. So everyone, keep doing it because it's cool. nice to see all the communication that's happening. Um, but Greg sent us this, yeah. And these are what well, this, if he's allowed us to what put these photos up. But he, I think he could set up a shop. Maybe yeah. he's, he's going in competition <laughs> with Oligo. He definitely would have had to buy a, a, a second luggage. Which I know one of our other guests did actually go out and buy another luggage right, right. just for all the perfumes that she bought during yeah. our tour. Right, right. Um, but you can see like, so this is like, obviously not too big of a box. Now imagine having 15, 20 of these. And the weight. Yes, now you would need another luggage <laughs> for sure. And the weight. So I wasn't the only one, yeah. but this was one of the new ones in my luggage that I haven't opened yet. Mm. I believe that you've had your nose on this before. I have, yeah, yeah. This so, is called Illusion. Yeah, here you okay. go. So I've, um, I've got Sacred Bond. Boom, boom. There we go. Yeah. These guys are under the same crew as, so now the new Suspiro crew. Um, the new Suspiro people have come out with this brand, Reinvented. Reinvented. Yeah. I, mean, I mentioned to everyone that Sacred Bond was is mm. just a rock star fragrance for me. You know what got me first, actually? Mm, the bottle. It's sexy, yeah. It's a really nice bottle. Mm. Really, uh, like the minimal, but done very well, done very chic. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Funny, the perception, because of the, 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 the bottle is pink, uh, or the label, the, the lid is pink, you think it's a very sort of girly, you yeah. know, but no. I get, you do get the sweetness. Yeah. You get some of that sweetness, um, almost yeah. like a soft, like a soft floral cotton candy, a little bit of vanilla in the base. I'm getting the vanilla, not the cotton candy. Okay, I'm okay. getting some spices. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say probably like a saffron is what you're getting. Probably. I like that a lot. So, yeah, this is a beautiful scent. And they're doing good things. I, I watched your video, I think you covered two or three. You've done more than Sacred Bond, right? You've done something else? Yeah, there's another one called Pheromone. Yeah, that's the one. Very sexy, yeah, yeah, yeah. very sexy. Yeah. And it plays on the whole, you know, the, the sexual attraction, yeah. you know, so sort of pheromones that are being released. And, yeah. and anyway, I'll, 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 I'll cover off more on that. But they're doing good stuff. Boom. So keep an eye out for this brand. Mm, I like it. Because personally, I only just discovered them after our tour. So mm. when we were in France just, just last month, I only just discovered these fragments. I think they're gonna be, you're gonna see them in a lot of places. Yeah. I agree. All right, so we, um, one of the big brands that we did quite a bit of work with, we even went, um, uh, this is special. We even went, actually we didn't announce the, the thing at the very oh, start. So we are having a fragrance tour 2024. That's up. Um, some of you guys might have seen some of the promo and, and the info that we've been giving out. We said that it was it was a tour that was was originally set for May, okay. But we're changing it to September. Yeah, we're going to tell you more in a, in in a moment as to why. Yeah. Um. Everybody who's on that hot list actually already received an email, so they're fully aware. Yeah. So if you want to know more about moving forward, put your name on the hot list, and we'll make sure we communicate. But it is moving to September, and we'll tell you why in just a second. But yeah. in the in the meantime, the the uh, tour that we just did, we went jasmine picking in the fields yeah. of M. McAuliffe. Um, and we were able to get this incredible, actually I, I didn't quite show it off in full, I'm just making sure that nothing falls out, yep. uh, in full capacity, but there's all the, look at that. And, uh, there we go. The reason why the top one's been taken out is because it's this guy here. Yeah. So what you get is, so this is the advent calendar. Right. For Christmas for them. So you're getting the whole range right. at the bottom. I think they're all about, maybe about seven, five or seven mils. Mm. And then you get the middle section, and then at the very top, you're getting this one. That. So this is Ylang in gold, yeah. nectar. 
and it has actual gold. So you can see on the front that it has the gold leaf yeah. on it. This is, a, this is the, um, the limited edition bottle yeah. only for this particular yeah. design. Um, inside there is gold leaf, so when you spray it, you get a shimmer. Yeah. So Sandra's been wearing this. We got this, as I said, when we were in grass. Would you say that this was, this was set only for stores for retail for the Christmas period coming right. up? Right. Uh, Charbel, who, who helps run M. McAuliffe, he had 2,000 boxes made mm. and for the world, for a global market, 2,000 is not that many. Mm. And I believe that he said he had already sold six to 700 already pre-sold to stores. That's right. We were lucky enough to sit with him. Because he wasn't going to do it. Yeah. He wasn't going to put it. He wasn't. But he we were asking for it. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't going to put it out there. And in the end, he's like, you could see the enthusiasm of the group that we were with. And in the end, he's like, you know what? Yeah. Everybody bought one. Yeah. That's what he said. He yeah. said, because I saw you guys were so passionate mm. when we were going through yeah. the brand, yeah. he said, I wanted to offer this for you guys. Yeah. So we're really grateful to, yeah. to Charbel and to the M. And we team. got it at a, at a discounted price too. Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> too late to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a, we got a okay. big discount on, on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was the beauty. Anyway, so Sandra's been wearing this. Okay, so this is the Lang in Gold. When we, uh, as we were going through it, we were testing this one. This one pinged instantly, both from Sandra's point of view. Actually, I think every female in there. I mean, the Ylang is very distinct, all right? So the white floor, the yellow floral that comes out from that, there is vanilla in the base, there is some amber, and there's coconut also. So it just give you an idea of how complex, how divine this fragrance is. Mm. It does have a shimmer to it, so when the moment you spray, there is gold, there's actually gold flakes inside here that comes across on your skin. Sandra was wearing this in, because when we finished in Cannes, we went back to Paris for a few days and then we left. For me, this is Paris. This is, this is yeah. now locked Paris into That's my brain. Um, so the, the smelling this on Sandra, she wore it again the other day. It's just gorgeous. I mean, yeah. You've smelled it yet, because you've got, you got one too. Absolutely. This is almost like, when I smell it, it brings me back to, again, like the France. France. Something about this fragrance where it screams out for me, um, classic French perfumery mm. at its best. You think totally, florals, totally. the French way of doing perfumery, that's... And I don't know whether it's Inception because we're in, in yeah. Paris. And we just France. finished yeah. picking like that's raw right. <laughs> jasmine from the, yeah. from the field. But yeah, this is classic French perfumery. Yeah. I, I feel the same way. Anyway, really, so ladies, if you like your Ylang Ylang in your florals, the beautiful thing about it is not... The, the, the balance in here is gorgeous in the sense that sometimes Ylang Ylang, Ylang can be very, not heavy, but... A lot more, um, not animalic either, but very deep and very, yeah. this is light. This is a spring, this is a, a, yeah. um, a, a fall, it could be fall. Um, I think you could even fall into a summer. It's not a winter fragrance. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. It's, I don't think it's a winter fragrance. I agree with you. Uh, I feel like the, the, also the, the, the way that the sillage and all that, the projection on it, it goes from a medium to a low. So it's a very intimate, sensual fragrance, yeah. all right? So it's very much yeah. for you. It's one of the things to, and I think this is how I also perceive it. In coming close to Sandra, I'm all of a sudden smelling her and smelling this, mm. and it's just her, this, mm. and it's just gorgeous. That's classic French per it's, perfumer. That is classic. Not like, or I would say some of the more newer Arabic brands coming out, they want loud projection, big projection, fill the room. French perfumery is like more classic, sensual. It is. Right? And uh, actually, I've discovered that more and more, yeah. that French perfumery is exactly that. That's how they, it's more about it's a subtle attraction. Yeah, and you know why? Also, it's about the temperature. Mm. So where the France and it's it, you don't need to compete against high heat and humidity and everything else. Yeah. So you have different yeah. fragrances for yeah. different seasons. You know. I remember you were telling me when we the day that we landed in France, the mm. first thing you said to me was, "I'm just wowed by walking around the street and I can pick up the perfumes of mm. women walking past, mm. and it's just." part of their culture, yeah. you just smell it in the air yeah. and everyone's got their own kind of unique style yeah. scent. It's beautiful. But it's not, it's not like, you know. Not like, wow. look at me, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike when I hit Dubai, yeah. you could smell, oh. the, the moment I walked out, you yeah. could smell the fragrances, yeah. you know. And or there was not saffron, necessarily, just boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. whereas in, in France, as the, the, the people would walk past, you're yeah. picking up these beautiful scents. So yeah. a whole different style in perfumery, which, yeah. which is what I love. Yeah. All right, your turn, my friend. When we, when we actually landed, the first, brand that you organize for our group to go visit. Yeah. Serge Luton. Serge Luton, yeah. which was very cool. Yeah, it was if, cool. If you can pop uh, one of the videos of mm. that, which you called the um, the war room, was it? Oh yeah, upstairs. Yeah, mm. cool, how, how we had that private session. We had a- so That room's cool. We, we, 
we saw things or we were shown things that normally is uh, sort of um, not shown to the public. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were taken into even Mr. Serge Vuitton's private, yeah. like a, a secret room, literally. It was like yeah. a secret panel and all the yeah. rest of it. Um, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Uh, this is the, I believe it was his first boutique at the Palais du Royal. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think when, when customers walk in, you only get to see the boutique store, mm -hmm. the retail front. Mm -hmm. But we were taken up upstairs where, mm -hmm. and usually I think that's closed. Correct. Which was very cool. Yeah. Um, I had one of our, one of your, our uh, customers at the shop, one of the NFC uh, viewers, Luke. Luke was the one that recommended that I go and try Arabi because he said, this is a Paris exclusive. Right. So Meaning Serge, you can't find it anywhere else. We have Serge Tans here, and I think it's available in a lot of countries. Yep. But these pieces, the, the bell bottles, yep. you can't get them right, in any other location. Yep. This here doesn't have a spray. We actually go... You dab. Yeah, this is dabber. It's very, very sensual. Yep. That's the whole idea. Yeah, and cool. again, back into French perfumery, it's about hitting your, your, um, your uh, heat spots. Yeah. And it's not about... Yeah. you know, enveloping the room with yeah. the fragrance. It's just about yeah. creating the, the cloud around you. The Arabi, I'm getting a lot of dried fruits. Mm. I'm getting the spices. It's one that both Marcel and I picked up there. As soon as we smelled it, we were like, oh, we have to leave it. It's kind of weird. We both, we both bought the same thing, you know. So. Oh, yeah. But it's almost like when you smell, well, personally in my collection, I don't have too many with this scent profile. Right. The, the spices are almost a bit like... Um, Food like, yeah, a bit food. Because I was gonna say, do you mind if I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, for me on my skin, those spices are just popping, and it's. I've been wearing it. It, it, it is a cool weather fragrance. So if yeah. you're in uh, the northern hemisphere, this yeah. would be just like on point. Amazing. Um, but oh, I get a lot of dried fruit. Right. So when I smell it, like I've been going to, we've got uh, family on my side who work on farms too. Right. And during the season, where they're picking grapes. Mm. I'm smelling a lot of this almost like, because uh, some of them, they, they actually hang the grapes outside and after a couple of weeks, they become sultanas. Uh, right. Raisins. Yeah. And this, as I'm eating fresh raisins, fresh sultanas, this yes. is like... That's what you, can I smell again? <gasps> it's coming off like that. Okay, yeah. I, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, okay. sticky sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. nice, dark, sticky sweetness. Yeah. Love it. Mm, gorgeous. Yeah. And to get this as a Paris exclusive, I was like, okay, we have to come home with this. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it was awesome to be in, in the Serge Luton and experience all those. All right, moving on some more. All right, so this one here, I've been, another one that I've been banging on about is the Salas. So I, I mentioned last week, I did a big thing on the rock star perfumer, Christian Provenzano. Our friend, oh. our homie. Yeah, um, <laughs> actually, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, anyway. Because um, every time he sees us, yeah. what would he do? I want to. He always says like, hey, the rock star. I'm like, yeah, you're the rock star. He's, like he'd see us, we, we, we might be walking through and he'd see us and he's like, hey, rock star. And it's somebody who we, well, in, in our industry, in our world, as you guys know, a lot of the big perfumers, they're almost like celebrities. Yeah, so. Some of them, I think maybe they're a bit too cool. Maybe they wouldn't say, say hi to us or they wouldn't know who we are. I think it's, they don't know who we are. They don't know who you are. But it was really cool that he, as soon as he sees us, he's like, oh, the boys. You know? It was actually, we, we walked into a party pretty cool. um, and the, can I say names? Yeah. Okay. We walked into the Fragrance Dubois party. Yeah. Um, a lot of people there, a lot of, you know, and yeah. the moment he saw us, you know, he just, I don't know, it just makes you feel like, yeah, yeah okay, cool. Huh? Yeah. I'm a cool guy, you know. <laughs> he's, got, he's the cool guy. He's got the same energy as us. Yeah, yeah. He's he like, yeah. oh, boys, yeah. how are you? I'm yeah, like, rock yeah. star. I'm like, This yeah. is the photo that we took at that yeah. party. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, it, it's nice. Anyway, so um, I mentioned last week that the so look at perfumes from the Middle East, the things that are happening there. Christian is being oh, basing himself out of Dubai. Suspiro, you got to go check him out. I did the uh, I did four fragrances from Suspiro that I really, really strongly recommend. Salas is another brand that is creating a bit of you know a bit of waves at the moment, and this one here is a new release called Amor. Torido, mm. and I, look, Torido, I don't know, Amor is love. Actually, this one here, I want you to spray it on skin. Okay, right? absolutely, let's go, let's go here. Because I'm not gonna say much yeah. more, but tell me first impressions. No. Then be honest, be completely honest. Not what I expected. Mm. Okay. So you when can I, say, I don't, yeah. say you don't like it. No, I love it. Okay, right. Not what I expected, right. meaning 
when I think because I, I, I know it's under the Suspiro umbrella, uh, Salas, this brand, I've seen the no, bottles. It's, it's different. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're, they're actually. Um, different company? Mm. Yeah. Is this named after the. It's named after the owner. The owner. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, when I've seen the bottles, I always think they look like luxury Dubai mm. Middle Eastern mm. brand, where I would never see them in like a store in Australia or something like that, mm. right? The scent, I assume that it's gonna be. Mm, saffron, heavy, punchy. What I'm getting right now is almost like, like sweet, raspberry, fruity, floral. That's fun, fun, fun. Very, a bit fizzy, a bit Fanta-like. Right, right, absolutely. Wow, okay. All right, when I first sprayed it, I didn't like it. Really? Absolutely. Okay, what is that? I sprayed it and I'm like, Phew. all the things you just said, I'm like, I'm like, it's too sweet, it's too okay. girly, okay. too, you know, um, so think er Erba Buddha with the, the I'm like, oof, yeah. it's too much. I mean, I could see a, a woman wearing this, whereas for yeah. me as a man, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I uh, would want this. And yeah. Anyway. And then what happened? I just shut up. <laughs> whenever I, <laughs> whenever I find that a fragrance sort of, because I, I, I'm like, yeah, anyway, I, I sprayed it. And at first, I'm like, yeah, I was yeah, it's good. doing some, some complaining. Yeah. The dry down. So as we start moving into the, the, that midpoint of the dry down and into the dry down, this is amor. I don't know what torido means. I mean, torido sounds... It smells like... It smells like first love. Okay. This yeah. is... This is... Um, this is this is love. This is passion. This yeah. is yeah. Uh, seduction. Um, the difference is, unlike something like this, which is pretty similar, it's love and seduction and things of that nature. That is very intimate. It's very I come close to you and mm. I detect it. Mm. Whereas this, it is now. Yeah. So I've been wearing this. This is now it has become my love. Uh, Sandra, who doesn't like very fruity fragrances, very vanilla fragrances. Mm. Whenever I'm wearing this, she is like, you smell amazing. You smell, I won't go into too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. So it dries down. It has, it goes, so you, you probably, as it goes a little bit more, yeah. you'll begin to detect the coconut. Okay. This is beautiful coconut. Now it does start off very fruity. It does yeah. have like a grape note or something yeah. of that nature. Yeah. It is like Kevin was saying, Fanta-like yeah. and very, almost sort of I don't know. it smells a bit like what the bottle looks, looks like, like if you're into color like this totally. smells bright rich red I don't know if there's like a raspberry kind of component to Probably. it but there's a rich red fruit I'll put I'll put the yeah. notes here that that are in that opening yeah. it's very very fruity however well and this is why I when I let it sit on skin. This is why I don't blind buy. I let it sit on skin and let it do its thing. And mm. I find that sometimes when a, a note is exaggerated at the start, mm. instantly my brain goes, okay, this means something in the dry down. Yeah. So when a note is like, and there's a number of fragrances that you, you're like getting like a heavy clove note or lavender or whatever it may be, yeah. I know that that is gonna be something deeper in. Mm. Now that fruit component remains in the fragrance, but it gives us this very, it is, it's a gourmand fragrance, all right? Um, but it gives us this beautiful seduction, love, this sensuality to it. The difference is, projection on this is a monster. Because it's done Arabic style. It's done Arabic Boom. style. Yeah. It's a monster. You I noticed it. I went, so Sandra and I was, um, we went walking. So she was walking first. I caught up with her. Mm. She smelt me. Straight she away. smelled yeah. me. She's like, what is it that is it that fragrance? And I'm like, yeah, it's that fragrance. She goes, it's just beautiful. It's yeah. just beautiful. So when it comes to its CR projection, longevity, I, I mean I spread it in the morning. It was like, I don't know, like wow. nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm still smelling yeah. it. One thing that I did wrong, heads up. Yeah. So three sprays. This is me now, okay? Three sprays in the morning. Yeah. It was about five o'clock. Yeah. And I was going out for the evenings, and I put two more sprays on to, to sort of Big mistake. One spray would have been more than enough. Ooh, Four okay. sprays for me was maximum. Yeah. Two sprays and that early fruit notes and, and I, my head, I was in the car and I think maybe also I closed myself in. Yeah. I had to open the windows because I'm like, 
I just, I oversprayed. I, I can't spray too many things. I think it is an extrait de parfum. Yeah, I mean, the juice is already, that's big. Mm. It's big. It's a monster. This is a beautiful scent. Gorgeous. Everybody, go. heads up. Salas, really, really exceptional fragrances. I will be doing more detail on these guys. But if you want to try something, if you like gourmands, yeah. then boom, boom. This is the one. And also for going into winter and uh, Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. I'm excited to see more of them. Yeah. Because I think they're going to start popping up at mm. boutiques and stuff. And you can buy the big bougie. I mean, I've got it over here on, off camera. Yeah, yeah. But you can buy can, the... you, can you show a photo? Can I just oh, go no, get it? I mean, I'll I mean, just go get it. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. I mean, the bougie of this box and the bottle, <laughs> like I've never seen anything like this. So you can do two things. This so, is Dubai. Yeah, this is Dubai. So I got this when I was in, I bought this when I was in um, Exxon's, uh, but that's the, that's the box and okay. it opens up like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> come on. Yeah, and so there's the, yeah. so there, I yeah. want to be careful. Um, yeah. There's the art piece of it, yeah. all right? So let's say that you're going, you know what? I don't need the huge art piece because I don't know, I've got a small place. You can buy just the so this is what i got in, when i was a yeah. kind yeah yeah so instead I, of the yeah the big, big one i mean i did truthfully i'm, a, I'm such a collector i'm such a nerd that i want to have the piece but in this case here because i was like ah uh, i regret it now i have to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> because the, this fragrance is probably yeah it's just gorgeous yeah just that's play. cool really cool yeah all right your turn okay my one is going to be you know what i'm gonna leave you guys have to wait a little bit until... How long is this video? Uh, I show you. Yeah, I'm it's... sorry, everybody. This is like seven hours and 40 We'll do a quick one for this. 40 minutes, yeah. But yeah, you want to stay to the end until I show you this because you haven't seen it yet. Okay, okay. okay, okay. That's my new one. This one here is a, a M. McAuliffe. Mm. Personally, one of my favorites that I got from this advent calendar. Right. G and tonic. Oh, gin gorgeous, and tonic. Gorgeous, okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This here, I chose it because we're going into our summer now. Um, and a lot of people actually have been talking about M. McAuliffe, particularly this gin and tonic. Mm. This is a new release. This is gorgeous. crushed mint, crushed, right? gorgeous. Yeah. ice, ice in a cocktail. Mm. You're getting the gin and tonic. Mm. Oh, you're getting like a soft sorbet, a bit of lemon, yeah. lime. Oh, that's fun. This is a summer, gorgeous. summer cocktail here. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because um, the, that gin note in fragrances tends to be very popular. Probably one of the best. I would say so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Because the, the one thing that I notice with this fragrance is that you don't get any of the... Sometimes uh, some of the gin fragrances have a slight floral that pushes around or yeah. whatever. Whereas yeah. this is... I, I like the way you define it. Sorbet. Yeah. Lemon. Crushed mint. Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. This one I've, I've, Gorgeous. I've worn on skin. The aromaticness of the, the green elements. So yeah. more of that mintiness. And I'm sure there's probably something else that's 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 on top of the mint that's giving you more of a greenness too. Um, I don't know if that would be like a vetiver or something, but that really comes off almost like some of that sharp green uh, freshness you get from like a green Irish tweed, like that classic. Right. It comes off like a classic men's cologne. Yeah, it does. Like those old. There's a there's an edge on this that reminds me of like a barbershop scent. Yeah, right. A little bit. But then you get the playfulness of now that cocktail, that summer cocktail, mm -hmm. you know, the citrus in it. For those who know, uh, Torino 21 sure. by uh, Zurjoff has that, but not the, the Torino 21 has more of a confection, not confectionery, but a sugary mm. sort of um, lemon minty. Mm. This one here is more, it's got the, the edge of the booziness. Yeah. And the green that you just said, the vetiver and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, all right. I love that. He, he did the yeah. clap. You've got the, the clap means all right. Keep moving. Okay. All, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, man. All right. But, yeah. Sorry. Go, 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 go. 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 I know. I was going to say, but I'm sure they're loving this. Like all, all these new fragrances. I hope so. Well, look, I mean, we, we're trying. Before, we're right? trying to cover all aspects of yeah. the um, northern and southern. All right. So we're giving you some warmer fragrances for northern hemisphere and coming into our summer. This is some. This is something that no one can ever buy. Okay, tell me about this, because <laughs> that looks, I can see, if, if you guys can see, I can see like a sign, I can see writing on it, right? I'll put a photo here, okay. so I've taken a photo of this. Okay. This is a world exclusive. Tell me about this. <laughs> so, for those who have seen my earlier Monday Talks, I had a chance to visit Pierre Guillaume in Clément Ferrand. I'm jealous. Clément Ferrand. Um, and... Uh, 
he knows that I've, I'm always talking about Tonka Body Con. I love Tonka Body Con. I fell in love with it when I was in um, Paris last year. And uh, this year, this year, sorry. And he said, let's build. So you build, I, this is my, my own constructed from his recipe. Explain to me how that works. So he showed me the full formula. Okay. So he gave me the formula yeah, the with all the ingredients. Recipe. The secret recipe. Wow. And, I'm, and I actually said to him, I'm like, should we not hide this? He goes, well, I prefer that you didn't film it um, because that's my recipe. <laughs> um, so I built this based on that recipe. Yeah. The difference is that I was brand new at it. So I was very slow mm. in creating this. I'm going to show you some photos because there's one of me okay. and it was involuntary. I'm doing this and I'm trying to put the drop in. Uh, Pierre's partner, Mike, took a photo and he says that I look like I'm doing the sacrament for, like, a, like a priest. Because <laughs> I've got my hand here and I'm doing this full concentration, putting these drops into this thing. Anyway, so it's now been four weeks. Okay. Oh. He wanted me to wait. So I haven't sprayed this yet. We're going to spray right now. Oh, okay. So the really like, it's been macerating and everything. Okay. I had to wait four weeks for it to oh, macerate. Well, so. We're not going on paper. We're going, no, we're going on the skin. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a... Yeah. Look, 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 even yeah. I have to pump it. Yeah. So can you explain, so you, you went to his actual facility where he makes it? Correct. Okay. So went to uh, Clément Ferron. Uh, mm, that's pretty good, yeah. Wow, okay. I'm a good perfumer. <laughs> <laughs> if I may say so myself. <laughs> no, that's good. Wow, good job. <laughs> hey. I love that um, he wrote by Marcelo the Apprentice. He did put a prototype sticker on it saying, yeah. not, not the real yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would be curious to compare my yeah. Tonga body coin yeah. compared to... So do you remember like, uh, what elements did you amp up kind of? Well, it wasn't, I didn't amp anything. Okay. It's just that I over, I over put something like on someone like, I'm being really careful. I'm like, oh man, I yeah, went yeah. over it. And he's like, it's okay, don't worry about it. And another is I'm being so careful that I went, I, 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 I did less. Yeah. Oh. And he's like, it's okay. So, okay. I, so really it's, Tonka body comb, but yeah. Marcelo style. Your version. My version. Yeah. Wow. But it's pretty good though. That is. That's pretty yeah. good. I don't know. Is I'm this for sale? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he actually said to me, go, don't ever sell it. I'm like, I never sell it, man. I is that why he signed it? He signed it. And he put a prototype yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. 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 And the, you know, the apprentice. Yeah. You know, like, this is not the master yeah. at work. It was funny though. I, I, there's a video. It's coming out. I'll show it yeah. to you guys. No, we, but that was my first time smelling. We've got a reveal. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the France Perfume Tour 2024. Mm. Do you want me to say it? Oh, okay, okay. Well, the date was May. Mm -hmm. Why was it in May? Well, this tour, we wanted to curate very unique experiences. One of the big highlights that a lot of our guests said, if you guys uh, tuned into the Mark Dead Talk where we had the guests on it, I think it was a couple of videos yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, I'll put a link. Yeah, a lot of them said one of their favorite activities was the flower picking. We thought this is one of those activities that it's like, you can go behind the scenes of making a fragrance, yep. the atelier, how do we even go even back further? Mm. We picked the raw ingredients mm. that they use for the perfumes. And so we did the, the picking with uh, Emma Caliph. And in May next year, what we wanted to do was pick the rose, right? The, the May rose in grass, the rose centifolia. Yeah, that's right. We were so told the by reason, multiple people. The reason why we were going in May yeah. was to get the rose. Was that, yeah. that was our reason. The date was so tight. To the point where Marcelo and I couldn't even believe that you could only pick rose from the 15th to the 20th. Correct. 21st, so we, in the lead up to it, we did research and Google yeah. didn't tell us the truth. Google was telling us that May to mid-June is the window to yeah. pick the rose. A big window. Then we spoke to, or Kevin spoke to Chabel from M. McAuliffe, and he yep. said, uh, he said that the date is the 15th to something like the 20th or the 21st. That was the window. Those five, six days. Couldn't there. believe it. We couldn't believe it because we thought, what happens after that date? Is it like, maybe all the roses are picked already. Right. Maybe it's that, I don't know. But we had uh, multiple people over in France actually confirm this as well, mm. because we were planning to still keep it at that date. Right. But other people in the area who were very experienced in this said, you guys have to come earlier during the 15th to the 20th because you will miss out. And so it was, 
So we did a lot of, so we, we yeah. were doing a lot of work yeah. in the background. Yeah. And in the end, we've now yeah. moved, because the flower experience, as Kevin was saying, is an important aspect of this. I mean, to see the raw ingredient, to pick it, yeah. to actually be in the fields where the, 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 the raw ingredients is taken from, to, that's created into these fragrances. So it's now going to be the tuberose and we're gonna be doing that in September. So the date has moved to September the 20, uh, the, sorry, in 2024, it'll be September. We'll give you the dates shortly, mm. um, but it will be to coincide with the tuberos. We wanna now harvest yes. the tuberos. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the difficulty in, uh, on the back end that some of you guys don't see is mm. Marcelo and I, we're sitting there having to plan hotels, accommodation for you, transport and everything, and Marcelo finding out that that week of the rose it's public holidays across the country. <laughs> there are actually four public holidays in it, France in, that block. in May. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. So it would be impossible to book transport for us because we're, for this tour, we're taking you all over the country, right. different locations, right. north and in the middle and the south. Yep. And to plan that during a week of public holidays there, it was pretty hard work. Pretty much impossible. Yeah, it was, it was hard work. So in the end, what, we've, what we decided to do, you know, one thing that I've always been saying, and I say it to, to Kevin quite often is, the energy of the universe. You just go with it. Let it flow. That's pointing us in a different direction. Yeah. Let it flow. We go with that. And and, and if it if it, if it's becoming hard or complicated, it's because it's not flowing. So what what's yeah. allowing it to flow? September. So mm -hmm. what we did is Kevin quickly reached out to Chabelle. Can we do the tuberos? He responded with a yes, a yep. big big yes. Yep. Big things are planned around that picnic and a whole bunch of other stuff. So fun. we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll uh, reveal more. Yeah. And the second part that was really important because I had already announced in May that we were gonna go visit Pierre Guillaume. And I thought if Pierre can't do, because for me going to Clermont Ferrand and being able to experience the perfumes with him, uh, wait till you see what yeah. else we've constructed around. Something this, special. Yeah, Something special. Around, yeah, around this visit uh, yeah. to uh, Clermont Ferrand. Um, if he couldn't do it then and uh, Pierre being the absolute gentleman, he did have something on yeah. and he moved it for us. Just so. for us. And he's the first, like the reason why we wanted this brand, he's really the first to be niche. Yeah, correct. To be niche. 2010, so, he yeah. actually released his first fragrance, Cosette 2, for those who are yeah. not familiar, yeah. uh, released it in 2010. So he is really one of the early pioneers yeah. when it comes to all things niche perfumery. For me, this was important. Yeah. So two things that and I said this to, to Kevin in advance. Pierre was really important to, to be able Absolutely. to experience uh, you know, with him. Yeah. And then the second one that was important yeah. is to actually be in the field and pick something. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we even looked at the frozen roses. There were some other activities that we could have done with roses and it just, you know what? It didn't meet the mark. We have a very high mark on the experience that we want to provide for all our guests that are coming right. on the tour. Right. As perfume lovers ourselves, it didn't meet, meet, meet the mark. So they we were, were good right. things, but yeah. these were now roses that had yeah. been frozen. And we want to do, we want to give you that yeah. top level experience. Yeah. Otherwise, we're not doing it. Yeah. Right. Um, and Pierre being so uh, gracious to actually allow us to come into his home. Right. You know. Right. Exactly. Because right. Because you were telling me that he he doesn't open the doors for anyone. No. So, so anyway, so September. Um, everyone on the hot list currently would have already received notification on this. If you are interested. We will be, when, when, actually, when are we going to release the full? So it's, it's, the, the pricing is at 15000 as yep. I mentioned last time. Yep. But when are we releasing to market and putting everything? Well, first people on the hot list will get it first. Mm. I would say very soon. That email that you would have gotten, check your inbox right now if you haven't read it yet. Because right. you would have gotten some of the details about it. Right. You have to remember that this is a very bespoke experience. We've done it the first time around this year with seven guests and we've decided that this is an experience that's capped at 12 guests. Absolutely. Because we organize the transport, we need like two, three Vehicles. vans to get everyone around, right. trains, whatnot, stuff like that. Um, accommodation for everyone. So it's a 12 person, that's the max. We've got a lot of people on the list. And we want to hang out with people. Exactly, exactly. We, we want, want to hang, we want to hang out with people. We want group chats, we want you guys to yeah. message us. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we yeah. want to hang out, we, we want to actually spend one-on-one -on -one time with yeah. you guys, so. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, And to hang out and have dinner with each other, Absolutely. drinks and stuff. Absolutely. Um, so it's going to be really the first 12 people that get in. Yep. We've got to cut it after that. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. September. So if you're available, September, join us. It'll be pretty awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. freaking awesome. But it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it is gonna be freaking awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, um, I got one more. One more part. You guys have to see this. You have okay? to see this. Best to last? Yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah, I haven't even seen what's inside okay. this box. All he said to me 
is wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. This is called orange perfume. Okay, the French orange perfume. Orange classic. Is that, is that a person? Uh, no, so it's like a story of a group of travelers who I believe actually it's kind of representative of the perfumes, right. of the perfumers okay. who have worked to collaborate on this brand. Okay. Look at this, look at this. All right. oh, sorry. Okay. sorry. Sorry at the brands, we're going to so move you aside. I opened up my luggage only last night. That's why things like this were still wrapped. Uh, right, right. I just opened this up last night and I forgot <laughs> how wow it is. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, you don't want? No, open, you do. No, open you, up, you do. I'm not going to exactly. I'll end up dropping it. And All then, right. Then. We open up like that. Sexy. We get this boom. Sexy bottle. Look at this. We'll bring it out. Yeah, right. take it out. With the with the jewel in it. Look how sexy that is, right? Oof. You, you get the pattern it. of wow, the, the orange heavy. logo. Could, yeah, it's heavy. You could beat <laughs> to it's death with that. Heavy. It's heavy, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're getting inside the perfume. I believe it's 50 mils. Right. Okay? When you finish it, mm. you flip open this oh, and you get a refill. You have a 50 mil refill Boom. of this. So at the bottom, there's like a, a coin. Um, you just put a coin right. and you open it up and it slides out. Okay, yeah. I see yeah, that. yeah. It yeah. slides out the, the old tube when you right, finish it. Right, right. Then you put the new one in. So you've got 100 mils of juice in here. Right. Freaking awesome. The price, I believe, is somewhere around. Can you put this away? I, this yeah. is gonna drop, and I don't. Two hundred, <laughs> maybe two, two fifty euros. Right. And that's a hundred ml of juice. Now this scent blew me away. Um, it's a brand that came to have a chat with me when we were in France. Yep. Um, well, they came to pitch me, I think. Yeah. But um, I was really blown away in by the, this. In the air. Gorgeous. Yeah. Woo! Really good. So oh, you're getting. Actually, sorry. Oh, that's really gorgeous. This is called, maybe I'll, I'll send you a photo to post up for everyone because you, you don't hear about this much because it's a new brand. Mm -hmm. um, this one is, I believe it's called Kellis. Here it is. Kellis Subtile. Okay. Kellis Subtile. Okay. You get that sweet sugariness yep. first, a little bit of green grassy yeah. aromatic tone. The grass. And then a real heart of classic French florals. Right. Roses now. So you're getting roses, you're getting soft jasmines. This the, is that that um, you said sweetness. It's almost brown, sugary. It's I actually believe it's a sugar accord. So oh, yeah, there you go. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is it's gorgeous. Really cool. Sweet. Actually, on first spray. Yeah. On first spray. Yeah. This opens gorgeous. with. This has a big projection. Um, I had to show you this. I was really wowed by these guys. Yeah. And I would not have found them if we if we weren't in France. Yeah. Very sexy bottle. Too. Really cool. Yeah. So, is that like a Swarovski crystal? Yeah. yeah so okay. keep an eye, keep an eye that's on this. That's a big crystal. Yeah. It's it's normally a, they're, they're like... A little small. Like a little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But they went all out. There we go. Is it expensive? Uh, I, yeah, don't I think, say the price. But. I think around 200 okay. euro is a retail price. Maybe 250 which is, euros. Which is, that's right. which is good. Um, for granted mils. that you get 100 mils. So you get yeah. a 50 and a 50. For 100 mils. Yeah. And there's a little cleaning cloth. Oh no, it's a bag. It's a bag. It's cool. Very cool. Really cool. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Mm, yum. This is... Oh, wow. I think we did well. We I had a we pretty well. good fragrance haul. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. How long would that go for? And actually, yeah. because I'm shooting on the, the different camera, the 4K camera, there was no stopping. So, okay. unlike the other one, the, the HD camera, yeah. it's just like, you know what? 28 minutes, we're done here. Got it. Shut it. <laughs> Shut it. Cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this is like three hours later. Nice. Um, but you guys can see the huge haul that we've brought back with us. And this is actually not even all Not even that. I was going to say, there's more. <laughs> there's more. There's more. Uh, so yeah, there's been, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we said this from the beginning, we were taking empty suitcases. Yeah. And we, yeah, yeah. we came back with full suitcases. Worth it. Worth our, it. our partners were not happy, but worth it. <laughs> worth it. I won't say what, yeah. <laughs> worth it. Sandra. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. But as fragrance lovers, you guys know. Boom, exactly. I mean. You go to France. But yeah. I was about to t start telling you the conversations I was having with Sandra. Nobody needs to hear that. It's just, it's just for me. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you for joining us. I've been us. dying to do this video. Yeah. With, uh, you know, do a bit of a recap on all the fragrances that we, um, some of the things that really pinged for us on this trip. I will be doing, so there is another video that we're going to be prepping about the tour itself. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to narrate some of the things that happened so you can really uh, almost, you know, uh, be a fly on the wall mm -hmm. to that whole experience so you can see what the, the the amount of work that we put into the last tour, what this actually means. So, I mean, things like, and I mentioned this last time, we're not just eating in 
a French brasserie. <laughs> yeah. These are Michelin starred or Michelin yeah. recommended. Yeah. So these are, you know, really, yeah. we, we, we want to eat well. Yeah. We wanna... These are some places that actually one of the last closing our farewell dinner, mm. places that uh, some of the French brands recommended us for where they go. Right. We don't want to take you to a super touristy place where no. we have to line up an hour and a half. No. You actually hate those places. I hate those places. I hate those places. If I hear an accent that is not the native to that country, yeah. I'm out of there. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. matter what Google is saying to me or... Agreed. You know, yeah. If I hear another accent happening, I'm like, no, nah, this is... And I've, I've experienced a few where I'm hearing non-French yeah. being spoken. And there's an hour line. And you're like, I'm like, forget about you're it. You're wasting your time. It's a tourist trap. Oh, That's what you say. Waste it's a tourist trap. Time. But we've been we've planned all these amazing restaurants. Um, so the places that we were staying at, I know the one in Grasse, the resort that we organised for, for the guests, they couldn't. Everybody was going on about how amazing that stunning. And everybody was in suites. They, yeah. The more space than that. I mean, like Gregory, yeah, yeah. Gregory, one of the, the the gentlemen that actually was on the tour. He um, he 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 walked us through. Did we? Yeah. 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 And honestly, you could put a family. In That's there. what he said. Yeah. He's like, it's funny. It's just me because whole family could, could fit in here. Yeah. But we did it on purpose. The idea is we want to make you guys feel yeah special. Yeah. Boom. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Man. See you guys all on the next monthly talk. Woo! Woo! That's a long one. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I reckon that's like, guess the time because I seven hours. No, I, I reckon forty minutes. Me too. I was gonna say like maybe forty-two minutes. Uh, Hannah says longer. It was fifty-five. <laughs> Woo! That's long. What do you reckon? I mean, that's, you, that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs>